Okay, so took a couple of tries, but I um, think you'll find this interesting. The first time, what I tried to do was I indexed this mark. If you remember, this mark was over here, and so I put the mark here, and I ended up with um, with four thirty four thousandths run out again. And uh, well, just for giggles, I took it and then I indexed it over here, and check out the result. So we're going to go through this again. My zero it out here. Turn it slowly. Oops. Yeah, I messed it up already because uh, I was zeroed out and I wasn't paying attention. Let's try it again. And you see, it's uh, it's bouncing between plus one and minus one, which is not bad, not bad at all. Plus one to minus one. That's two thousandths of an inch. That is an excellent run out for this old piece of junk. So that way, what happens is, now that we know that this is, um, this is straight, it's only moving back and forth two thousandths of an inch per revolution. And you have to remember that everything else is connected. The pads are gonna ride on here. And the more run out that you have, back when we had four, four thousandths before, that means that it would move back and forth four thousandths. Every time that the high spot came around, it would push the pad in that direction. So it would push the pad out, the outer pad out, pushing everything else in. And then when it came around again, it would push it in. So it keeps going back and forth. And what happens is that high spot collects brake pad material. And then that's what leads to the infamous pedal pulsation. So if you've got pedal pulsation, it is not overheating. Yes, overheating will kill your rotors, but it is not what causes the so-called warped rotor problem. It's actually that extra thickness that it collects as it keeps bouncing off the pad when it's in there. So when we get this down now, we got it down to 2000s run out, that's not bad. So we shouldn't have any issues once we put this thing back together. So now that I've got this in, in place, I'm not going to move it again um, for reassembly. And uh, oh yeah, one other one other point of advice. Um, you notice I got my power tools over here, my uh, assault ratchet and assault screwdriver. These are for taking things apart. These are destructive tools. When I put it back together. You're going to notice I do not use those. Use a torque wrench to get proper torque so that you don't create more problems as you're putting everything back together. Okay, I will be back in a minute when I get the, um, get the, the caliper and the pads going.